Imagine a motorcycle that can drive itself, no rider needed. That's exactly what a 24 year old Shiva Maurya of Surat has built. This Garuda bike, touted as India's first AI enabled driverless superbike, combines cutting edge tech with a DIY spirit. Shivam's journey began on a bicycle. At the age of 15, he tired of pedaling up a steep bridge every day. So, with just his pocket money, he attached a small motor to his cycle. In the video of that makeshift e bicycle went viral on his YouTube channel Creative Science, that earning him his first payout and launching his career as an inventor. Garuda was developed by Sibam along with his two classmates at Bhagwan Mahavir University. Inspired by Tesla's electric vehicles and named after Lord Vishnu's mythical bird vehicle, the bike looks like a sci fi prop. It has hollow wheels and a sleek lightweight frame packed with electronics. The team spent about a year and 1.8 lakh to build Garuda cleverly using roughly 50% of scrap parts to cut the cost. Despite the low budget, Garuda is high tech. At its heart is the Raspberry Pi computer acting as the bike's brain. By a Wi Fi link, riders can give simple voice commands, e.g., stop or slow down, and the Pi interrupts this using onboard AI algorithms. Garuda, start the bike. The power supply start now. In practice, this means Garuda can autonomously regulate its speed and braking in real time. As Sibom's team explains, the bike is driven by a Raspberry Pi system. It allows it to listen and obey voice commands, and it uses AI similar to that of Tesla cars to sense and respond to road conditions. Note it that the bike sensor detects obstacles up to 12 feet away, and if something comes within 3 feet, the vehicle stops immediately. It also can dashboard source GPS navigation, music controls, and phone call info, and it even streams live video from front and rear cameras for 360 degree visibility. There's wireless phone charging on board, and message notification can pop up on the display. Garuda runs on a lithium ion battery. It delivers about 200 to 220 km of range in eco mode and 160 km in sport mode on a full charge which takes roughly 2 hours. This is comparable to some commercial e-bikes despite Garuda's homemade origins. It can use like a regular bike or think for itself in autonomous mode using AI to make decisions that keep it safe. All the people told the bike combines advanced autonomy with practical convinces all built at a fraction of commercial cost. Sivam's team had no high-tech lab, just a basic garage in Surat. They tackle every challenges by improvisation. For example, to save money, they slavished motors and frame from old scooters. The students collectively spent nearly a year on this project. According to reports, about seven months went into 3D design and hardware setup, followed by three to four months of coding the AI and integrating sensors. Each evening, Sivam would solder circuits for carryable sensors. In his makeshift workshop, he recalls, without access to professional labs, he set up a makeshift workshop. Many early projects failed, forcing him to start over. But every setback was a learning step that pushed the design forward. They named the bike Garuda and finished the prototype by late 2024. Testing took place on quiet roads outside the city to avoid crowds. Sivam reports, they logged well over 150 km of test rides, picking software to handle curbs, obstacles and traffic scenarios. These trials were defined so the bike could safely slow and stop every technical glitch. From a misaligned sensor to a software bug, taught the team how to improve the system. The moment Garuda was unveiled, it captured widespread attention. The videos of the rivalous bike went viral within days, growing interest in startups, universities and even filmmakers. National and international news outlets featured Sivam and held him as one of India's most promising young innovators. But beyond the buzz, Garuda represents a larger trend. India's DIY and maker community is combining cutting-edge AI with resourcefulness. By building Garuda from scrap and open-source hardware, Sivam's team demonstrated that advanced autonomous vehicles don't have to cost millions to develop. This project points to India's youth engineers' ability to innovate with intelligent, environment-friendly transportation technologies. Garuda is a prototype of how local talent could reshape urban mobility. An AI-driven electric bike is affordable, sustainable, and inventive. The bike's success is a thrilling glimpse of where creativity and technology can converge. The source young engineers and even outside allied labs can fuse AI, automation, and green design to solve real problems. Sivam's work aligns with India's push for homegrown innovation. If ideas like Garuda are scaled up, they could revolutionize transportation in crowded cities while supporting the make in India. Garuda may still be a one-off prototype, but its impact 
extends far beyond the machine. Sivam Mori emphasizes that his goal isn't to start a factory overnight, but to keep inspiring others. As he says, his dream is not to build a company, but to build curiosity. Indeed, Garuda has already inspired countless DIY enthusiasts and students to experiment with AI and robotics. In the end, the Garuda project isn't just about a bike, it's about empowering a new generation. Cutting edge technology and sustainable practices can go hand in hand even on a shoestring. By achieving this speed at just 1.8 lakh, Gums and his team have set a powerful example 